And our top story tonight is about fireworks, and we are not just talking about the ones that you see on the 4th of July. No, there appears to be a financial back and forth between the Niagara Falls City Council and Mayor Paul Deister. And it's all over money. Council members say the city does not have to pay for an annual fireworks show. Two on your side's Danny Spiewak reports. You press the button and it'll shoot out. Grant May's okay. family loves to fish at Hyde Park. Did you get it? And every 4th of July, they come back to this same park to watch fireworks. They won't get that chance this year. Two weeks ago, the Niagara Falls City Council unanimously voted down the mayor's proposal to fund the fireworks display. It's a shame for such something so small that means so much to so many residents that they would cancel it. Funds are tight in the city of Niagara Falls. Council member Chris Vocio says the city just can't afford the $25,000 for fireworks this year. The Seneca Nation casino revenue dispute is still unsettled, leaving the falls without millions to balance the budget. We just felt that considering the constraints that we have financially, the best bet would be to vote against it. And that's why it was unanimous. Mayor Paul Deister isn't convinced. We thought that, you know, in a, in a budget of over $90 million, that that's a relatively modest investment to make to celebrate, you know, our most important national uh, holiday. Vocio says the fireworks also require more money for fire and police patrol. And the, fi the fireworks at Hyde Park create problems. If you talk to people who have businesses around there, if you talk to people who live around there, there are fights, there's litter, police action. Still, plenty of families will be disappointed. The least you could do is come out of your pocket $25,000 to do something that will bring the community together. At least the Seneca Nation in Canada are still expected to have fireworks. And we get to see those fireworks from our front porch, so at least the Canadians are doing something right. Fourth of July obviously isn't for another couple of months, but it doesn't sound like the city council wants to change its mind at all on this issue. The casino revenue remains in doubt since the state and the Seneca Nation are still locked in an arbitration process. Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.